Okay, everybody, I need you to take a deep breath. We're gonna do this together. I don't know why, I don't know why I did that. Um, right, today we're gonna to be looking at a parcel from Japan. Now, I know you guys are thinking, why have you got one of these when you were banned from Japan for you? And that is because I made another account. <laughs> and um, yeah, so now I've had to start again with my repertoire from Japan for you, and hopefully, in fact, I think the best thing to do is just pay them. Whatever they ask for, just pay them. Don't offend them or they'll ban you. And no, this is not the thing I was thinking of. That is quite funny. Although I'm still really excited for this, so I probably shouldn't be saying no, but that's so funny. I was not expecting it to be this. This is a Game Boy Color that, again, we're going to be doing a Retro Bright 2. And the, the, what we're going to actually be doing is testing to see if you can Retro Bright a Game Boy Color. Because, of course, we know we can Retro Bright DMGs and Game Boy Pockets. And I've never seen anyone Retro Bright a Game Boy Color. So this is a Game Boy Color that I picked up from Japan for you for $20, I believe it was. And as you can see, it's completely like an orange color, but actually it's meant to be this kind of pink color. Now I'm not sure how pink it's meant to be. I, I imagine it's probably meant to be this kind of pink here, but you can see the difference there is just absolutely unbelievable. And you can really see that fade as it's um, kind of made its way over to the back as well. It's going to be very interesting to see if you can actually retro bright a Game Boy Color. Um, if not, oh, that didn't sound very good at all. If not, this is going to be um, quite a boring video of me just cleaning a Game Boy that I'm really not going to want because it looks very, very ugly. But it's a Hello Kitty uh, rendition and um, yeah, of course I didn't buy this for the Hello Kitty. <laughs> I obviously just bought this to see if we can actually retro bright this and this is the uh, most kind of decolored thing that I can see. Right, we're going to go ahead and take it apart and um, give everything a clean and get ready to retro bright it or at least try and retro bright it. Here's a little bit of a uh, an update as to where we are right now. So I haven't managed to do any of the back yet. I've been working on the front, but you can already start to see a bit of color change on the side. Now, I'm not sure this is ever gonna go back to its absolute original color, but you can definitely see a difference there in the color on the front of it. And it's actually starting to look quite impressive. I'm not really sure chemically how this will actually um, go back to that color because this is a bleach, so Going back to a pink doesn't seem like it's really going to happen to me, although it might go back to like kind of a, a brighter white, so it might look a little bit okay. I know a couple of people said having it look peach and pink is quite a nice combination, especially for something which is typically, um, you know, Hello Kitty. You can kind of see on the front there that it's it's kind of like that that babyish pink colour to begin with. So it de doesn't seem to be uh, scratching off the logo as well, which is nice. I can de definitely see that there's a bit of wear on the logo. So obviously the kid who had this, or the person who had this, you know, that, that could definitely wear it down. Um, but as I said, you know, it's it's you can really, really see that difference there on the side. So maybe this is working. You can still see it's got quite a way to go, but I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update as to where we are. Aside from this thing being really, really dirty, the actual power switch itself is broken. When you try and switch it on, it actually moves and then the little piece just kind of comes out. Now, inside this little thing is two little metal wires which basically press down against a um, two like pieces of metal that run across the bottom of the switch. It's really, really not going to work very well. So what I've decided to do is fire up the soldering iron and have a go to see if we can just lift this little metal piece off. I'll just heat up the, uh, the two pads either side and just kind of work my uh, tweezers under there. Okay, so I'm not actually sure if this is gonna work or not because um, I've never ever done this before, but this is the, uh, the switch now taken off and you can see 
uh, inside. It's meant to be like a really chrome kind of silver. So obviously it's come a long way from being that. As I was doing this, um, it's really, really difficult to lift this up and the actual whole switch fell off, although nothing appears to be broken. Here are the pads. Uh, another thing as well, which is not making this work, is that the pads aren't applying enough pressure to the bottom to actually stay in place. You can also see that they've kind of not gone straight over time. I am sure this is all gonna be fixable with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, all the pads and everything will be should be able to clean up quite nicely. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's give that a go and see if we can get these looking shiny again. Alright, and here we are. So this is the Game Boy Color um, shell restoration. Now, what I've actually decided to do is only retrobrite the front half of the shell, and that will give you a bit of a comparison to show you um, the, the edge, and I'm going to flip that around and show you in just a second. But I thought what it would be quite interesting to leave that there and then talk about the pros and cons of doing this. Is it worth it? Has it really been successful? Or has it done something else? So. Here's the difference. You can obviously see that it's made a, a big, big difference from the original orange that it was. And um, to be fair, this was actually, the, the front was actually even more orange um, than the back. So you can really see that it's made quite a considerable difference coming that, that amount down. Um, now, to actually show you the contrast of what the original color of this was, I didn't glue the lens down. And if I flip that round there, you can see inside here the initial color that that was. And you can also see that that has gone slightly lighter as well whilst actually doing the, um, the retro brighting. Now, what does this tell us for retro brighting Game Boy Colors? You can really see that difference there, it's just insane. Now, I think what's actually happened is using the, um, the hydrogen peroxide that I've been using, which is this stuff right here, I think what's actually happened is we've just bleached the plastic. Because if you look at this in person, it's less of a pink color and just a really, really, really light orange. Now, I'm not sure if, if you left this on for even longer, if, that, if it would eventually go to that color, or if it would go, go basically white. Um, obviously, it wouldn't go completely white. It would always be that kind of color. But uh, yeah, it's definitely not 100% worked. It's um, definitely come a long way, to say the least. I've got a multi-cart in here. The speaker on this doesn't actually work uh, very well at all. Obviously, I fixed the uh, the power switch as well, which is nice. It means that I can actually um, play this console. So that's going to be it. Retro brighting at the Game Boy Color. Somewhat success, somewhat failure. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to finish the rest of this off um, off camera. I just wanted to leave it on there just to... Uh, kind of compare the uh, the difference but yeah thank you very much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you enjoyed the video leave a like and i'll catch you in the next video peace